Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2022 Ford Bronco Wildtrak Sasquatch. It is the four-door model. The exterior color is Eruption Green Metallic and it's absolutely beautiful. It has a 2.7 liter uh, EcoBoost engine and a 10-speed automatic transmission. Very well optioned Bronco uh, Wildtrak in my opinion. You are gonna have the black style bumper with Bronco spelled out in white lettering. This guy does have the 360 degree camera system so your front facing camera is gonna be right here. Full LED light package on this guy as well as the all metal um, removable front bumper. You can actually remove portions of the bumper to give you greater approach angles. You also have parking sensors integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. Tow recovery hooks are gonna be right here. This guy does have the wild track hood graphics package, massive fender flares. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, we have a 17 inch beadlock style wheel with uh, your Goodyear Territory MT tires. And this is a 35 inch tall tire. The exact size is a 315-70R17. We have your Wild Track Sasquatch badging right here black mirror cap your side camera is going to be right here blind spot monitoring passive entry system so as long as you have the key fob on you you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver passenger door or the back tailgate back here full led uh, tail lamps parking sensors again integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper you have a tow recovery hook right over here Full-size 35-inch spare, backup camera right there, passive entry system on the trunk or tailgate, if you will, capless fuel fill port with your different generation of Bronco right there, a little Easter egg for you, gray hard top. This color looks just absolutely dynamite. They did a really, really good job optioning this vehicle i did go to the ford bronco event that this dealership had there's a bunch of cool features um, in the bronco if i went over all of them the video would be 45 minutes long uh, just quickly on the exterior when you remove the doors you actually retain the mirrors which is nice accessory ports on both driver and passenger side as well as up top you have two accessory ports for a light bar you can use these right here as tie downs if you're like uh, have like a kayak or a canoe up top. Pretty cool. If you're off roading, you can actually tie rope from here to the accessory port to keep tree branches and limbs from hitting the windshield, which is pretty cool. Also, these are used in off roading applications to show you where the innermost portion of the tire is. And real quickly, look at how big those shocks are. Very sweet looking Bronco. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting off on the left hand side, we have your lock and unlock buttons. Coming down below that, we have your um, mirror mounted light buttons, rotary dial selector for the exterior lights of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Under that you have your electronic parking brake and your hood release. Grab handles pretty much everywhere. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer uh, that is digital. We have a analog spinometer as well as a digital spinometer in the middle on this massive LCD screen. Really nice leather wrap steering wheel with mild bolsters at 10 and two. You have your Bronco logo right here in the middle. This guy does have the lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control all on the left hand side of the vehicle as well as your steering wheel mounted audio controls. Over on this side we have the controls for the center LCD display as well as some more audio buttons that are mounted on the steering wheel. Coming up to the dashboard, b and premium audio group, little storage tray that continues for driver and passenger as well as some USB and USB-C charging outlets right here. Right here we have a accessory port, so if you wanna 
get the accessory bar. You can mount GoPros, dash cams, all sorts of fun stuff using that little guy right there. Right here, we have all the off-road buttons. We have your front locking diff, your rear locking diff, and then I, I don't know specifically what this one is called, um, but it makes turning on a dime possible. Uh, essentially what it does is it locks up um, the rear wheel in the direction of travel, making the other three wheels spin more, making you turn essentially <laughs> with no turning radius. It's actually really cool. Traction control off, and then your hazard light button. Under that we have a 12 inch touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's all wireless as well, pretty cool. You got your features button, so you can turn on your zone lighting, your driver assistance and all that. It's got your card system, so I'm listening to the radio right now. I also have the navigation popped up on the right hand side. Very, very cool system, and I believe you can get a um, connection to this vehicle as well. Pretty cool. Push button start right here. Physical buttons for the radio. Your automatic start stop button is in the middle. This button will toggle the 360 degree camera system. Very high definition. Under that we have your dual zone climate control. Heated steering wheel button. Heated seats. USB-C, USB port as well as a wireless charging mat. Right here we have your little Ford uh, Bronco placard. Another grab handle. Gear selector with manual plus minus on the side. Two cup holders. This is your goat mode or go over anything or go over all terrain. I've heard it both ways. Turn this knob and then on the LCD display up top, you'll actually toggle through all of the different drive modes you have. We're gonna keep this in, let's go to eco. But as you can see, decent amount of drive modes. Then you have your push button transfer case. They are touch, uh, like rubberized touch buttons. And then in the middle you have your trail control, which is essentially cruise control, but for off-road. All your window controls are gonna be in the middle. All four are automatic up and down. And then we have your mirror control right here. Working our way back to the center console. Nice console right here with a 12 volt outlet right here. Two tone leather seats. The Bronco is stamped into the seat back. Another grab handle for the passenger. Really nice size glove box. Coming up top to the vanity, it is incandescent lit for a passenger as well as your driver. The driver vanity does get a three door universal garage remote. And then up top, my favorite, you have six auxiliary upfitter switches. I love the placement of those by Ford. I love that they're actual switches as well. Very nice. And then in front of that, you have your LED dome map lights. And then your standard auto dimming rear view mirror. So overall, I'm actually very impressed with the interior of this vehicle. I think the Wild Track is one of the better um, looking trims in my opinion. And I am very comfortable in these seats. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the back and see how much leg room we have. Getting in with the grab handle is real easy. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid five to seven inches of leg room before my knees hit the front seats. You do get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Down here we have the window controls for the rear passengers as well as a media hub with a USB-C, USB outlet, and it looks like a 110 volt, 400 watt power outlet as well. The center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And something that I really like that the Bronco does that the, the competition out there doesn't, there is no center B pillar that takes up visibility and hangs down really low. Uh, so when the roof is off, you, you just have more visibility and you don't feel as claustrophobic. I really like how Ford did that and um, maximized space and headroom with this guy. So overall, I really do like the interior of this vehicle. Tons of space for me and definitely a huh, fun vehicle to off-road in. Let's take a look at the cargo space. 
So to access the cargo space, you're just gonna come up to this handle, pull on it, it's gonna open. Even with the 35 inch tall tire, it is fairly easy to open. And it opens very wide as well. And then to open the glass portion, you're just gonna pull up on this and it's gonna open as well. This guy does come with the all weather floor mats and all of the bags for the doors. These seats do fold down, giving you much more cargo space. Looks like you have a cargo pocket right here on the driver's side. And on the passenger side, you have a incandescent or LED cargo lamp with a 12 volt outlet. Now all of the doors are removable and can fit in the back of the vehicle. Each bag has the uh, location of the door. And when you take the doors off, on the bottom here, it gives you the lift point. There's actually a built-in handle. And when you unplug the wiring harness, there is a spring-loaded uh, rubber gasket right here to protect against the uh, elements getting in the electric system. So very, very cool, lots of space. Again, this thing opens very wide. And you also have some underfloor storage as well, right in here. And then your spare tire kit is all right there as well. To close everything up, you just simply reverse the process. And you're good to go. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's the window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2022 Ford Bronco four-door adventure 4x4 wild track trim, 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine and a 10-speed transmission. Eruption green metallic is the exterior color. All your standard equipment's gonna be right here. Optional equipment's gonna be right here. Most notably, you have the 354A equipment group for $3,590, as well as some other optional equipment down here. This vehicle is rated at 17 miles per gallon city, 17 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. The base price of this vehicle is $49,475. And after all your optioned equipment, the total MSRP is $58,785. I want to give Spirit Ford a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to the lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle or any of the 2022 Ford lineup, I will be posting the contact info in the description below. Let Cheryl know that you saw the YouTube video and she'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up with new vehicle walkthroughs, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.